are some cool pants you got on there, Ellie. Look at those pants. <laughs> it's kind of raining a little bit out in Tampa today, so dropped Ali off at the front because I'm an amazing husband. <laughs> uh, we're going thrifting today. Cash only thrift store. Love this one. Haven't been out here in a while. While it is full of resellers and the prices are high, uh, but but we have pulled some amazing stuff from this thrift store. So hopefully we can find some cool stuff. Come along for the ride. If you haven't yet, smash that thumbs up button. Uh, I sound like a YouTuber. <laughs> Hit the thumbs up button and subscribe and let's go. Man, it's been a while out here. Yeah. We'll do any Burke purse. Look how funny this thing is. It's cute. What's that? Oh, it's got a shell on it. And it's all like the creams and the beiges. I'm gonna look it up. Very retro. Yeah, that one is all the way retro. Franco Sorto. Nothing exciting. Nothing exciting. Did you yet? see the price on the Dooney though? How much was it? Twenty-five dollars. Ooh. And look how bad it is. Twenty-five's a lot. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Beatles. Oh, that's funny. I remember bags like that. I remember. Anything exciting? Uh, no. But I did find this fruits. Or sorry, these little um, fruits and vegetables. Oh, that's funny. tomatoes are fruit, so I had to say fruits and vegetables. They're like Velcro, so I thought it would be. I don't know, I thought for the dogs. Because Mochi <laughs> likes to rip stuff apart. You're gonna make them toys? Well, it's already made. You just put it in this little basket uh, and gotcha, Velcro gotcha. it. But I don't know, it's just very cute. True. I don't know if I should get it for Mochi. It's three bucks. But I thought that these fake breads were hilarious. Those are funny. They're so Croissant. funny. They're so funny they though. Are. I found these Alan Edmund. Oh, those are really yeah, those nice. nice. Ooh. Rare to see the high tops like I that. I love a high top in tip. Yeah. That's cool. Oxford. Great condition. There's so um, many different terms. They are $35, but comps at $150. So. Whoa, is that a splash mountain frame? Oh my god. Oh my god. Is that a splash mountain? That's an awesome frame. $20. You guys on crack? <laughs> I want to take what you're taking. That's sweet. It was $25 new. It's old, Dad. I know. That's cool, but it's broken. Oh. Ew. It's pretty nice. Is that real? Yeah, for sure. Whoa. Oh, yeah. That's, that's nice. 25 bucks. Yeah. Tori Burt's dress. Can you see if you can find that model? 300. That's new, though. Yeah. So it's called a peplum, peplum cocktail. Yeah. Sheep, I guess, as well. Any used ones listed? Oh, I don't know. Mm, okay. Yeah. 50 bucks. Yeah. Ass. Boo. Sometimes this thrift store gets good toys. I saw some pops. There's some good pops here, I think, but the prices are a little bit high. Let's see if there's anything else. Sometimes they get like retro 90s toys. Definitely look out for 90s toys right now. Like my favorite are street sharks. Look out for street sharks because they're worth a decent amount of money. I found an original PlayStation, super nostalgic, but they want $80 for it. For $60, this Blink Outdoor light system, I scanned it and I think it, it would be worth it if it was brand new, I would pay $60 for it. But opening it up, it looks like it is used and it might be missing some parts, so I'm not going to buy it. I'm trying to think what the, what the Genesis controllers would look like, because that's what it would hold, I think, right? Genesis controller. That's a strange one. It's like corduroy Robert Graham. Is that three dollars? It's only three dollars. I've never seen a corduroy Robert Graham shirt. Here's another Robert Graham for six dollars and this one is much better. It's got that nice like flip cuff which is what Robert Graham is known for and definitely genuine. I think probably like 30, 35 bucks we can get. And here's another one, not as nice, but only $3 and same size. So we could lock them together too. And um, the pattern's not too bad. So probably like 25-ish dollars worth of value out of this Robert Graham. The, it's Best Made brand. Best, Best Made, made Toys. It's on here somewhere. Best Made Toys. Mm. Tiger. It's a tiger. Oh, it's a cool tiger. Look at that face. Yeah, they, um. Meow. They have like, wait, they're, they're hand painted probably, right? They're the best made. They're the <laughs> best made. <laughs> so there's that. That's pretty cool. But then there's that. Hmm. It's a Rolex. They want 
400 for it. That's nice, actually. Lulu, hooded Lulu jacket. Just faded. For $3? Here's your little logo down there. Damn. Can I see if it fits me? It's so crazy they have the Lulu jacket for $3. They missed it, that's why. The Burberry for 40 Yeah, it's because they made a mistake. Does it fit you? It is a little faded. Doesn't look bad that it's faded though. Oh, it's nice. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. It smells a little smoky. Ooh. That looks good on you. Um, cute. <laughs> what does it say? We ourselves must walk the path. All right, Roan. Insightful. Those are mine. Ooh, so some of these willow tree angels can be worth a lot of money, like $100 plus. Not all of them, but willow tree angels we've sold in the past for good money. It's a good brand. Extra tough. Those look almost new. Not yeah. Old, but They're amazing. They won $50 yeah, for I them. Look There's also this pair of Uggs over here. Pretty nice. Oh, those are really nice. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I mean, the, in, inside, no, the inside is kind of gross. Yeah. They're five and it a says, half. Oh, it says $44? I think that's what it's like. Oh, wow. That's a lot of money. The laces are messed up. Are these good? Uh. Better laces? I thought it was $5. See them? Find a pair? I don't know. They're seven and a half. They look too big. Your face is not hanging off the back. I like that. You got them. <laughs> How do they look? You're just a little oh, damaged there. Oh, no. That's a deal breaker for 25 <laughs> Oh, so fancy. Ryan's so mad right now. The purse with the jacket. He's so mad. <laughs> My and wife's stop fancy. Stuff. Right? Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> it looks delicious. Wow. Right? Oh. <laughs> no, those, uh, can I see them? The, the Jordans on the top? They're oh, Lord. the expensive ones. And you know they are. Yeah, yeah we know. Let me see. What they look like. Let me see. They look so nice. $900. Are they real, though? Have, have, did you touch them? Yeah. I don't think they are, dude. Those don't even look like real Nike laces. The, qua the quality is like way off. I, th I think so, yeah. That's, I thought so. I don't, I don't think they felt right. I guess what you could do is 2014. Aren't these 2018? Yeah. That's wrong. Man. That's wrong. Those are fake. Yeah. Now you know for sure. How you know it's for sure? Because these are two, these are came out 2018. 2018. They came out 2018 and the tag says 2014. Do you like how I did the mic? Just hanging out like that because I lost the clip. <laughs> Do you like my new Street Shark shirt? I'm so excited about it. So excited. All right, so thrifting. This is the end to the thrifting video, so I got to do that first. So the Allen Edmonds shoes, the model is called McAdam. Really nice, great condition. We'll polish them up a bit and get them listed on eBay. And we should get at least a hundred bucks for those. So nice. We got, what is this? This is Allie's, that's not, that's not a thing. We got this Robert Graham shirt for $3. That should get us like 25-ish. And then also this Robert Graham for $6. Better one, nice flip cuff, Robert Graham. So probably like 35-ish for that. Um, that's a towel. I don't know where the rest of the stuff is. Oh, the Lululemon jacket I kept. Um, oh, and then also, so those, uh, those Jordans, the Jordan Unions, um, $900 I think is what they were asking for them. If they were legit, we would have absolutely bought them because that's a $1,700, $1,400 to $1,700 shoe all day and it would have sold pretty quickly. Unfortunately, I don't think they were real. The materials were off in my opinion um, and the date was the most important part. So the date stamp, 
on the little barcode section, the inside tag of the shoe, it should have said 2018, because that's when that shoe was released, and it said 2014. So pretty good indicator that that shoe was fake. Um, if it did say 2018, I think what we would have done is there's an app that we use called Check Check app, no affiliation with them. We've just used them to authenticate other high-end shoes. So we probably would have taken pictures of the shoe at the thrift store and run it through the app. And then if it came back legit, we would have bought them. So that's something you could do as well if you find something like that. But pretty crazy to find either way to find a possibly $1,700 pair of Jordans at the thrift store. So let me know in the comments, do you guys think they were fake? And would you have bought them if they were real? Let me know. And besides that, check this out. <laughs> check out this ball of t-shirts that I got in the mail today. So, this is a wholesale order that came from the UK. Um, I'm assuming it was in a box. And then when it got to customs, customs went through everything and destroyed the box. And then decided that they had some duct tape they wanted to get rid of. So they put it all in a bag and taped it up. <laughs> Pretty crazy. But that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Oh man, I ran out of breath for there for a second. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you like my new shirts.